I have some running around to do today, so I thought that I would film a uh, get ready with me video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I fell asleep with my arm on my forehead, and I think this bony part of my wrist was like right here. And I must have had my arm there for a long time because I still have a little dent right here in my forehead. And let's see, I've been up since... Well, I took my son to school this morning. I got back home at about 8 o'clock. So I've been up since then, and that dent is still in my forehead. I'm probably not going to talk about all the products that I'm using because this is just sort of like a... I don't know, a chit chat, but I'll just, I'll list everything down below that I'm using. Um, because once I start, you know, like if I get off topic and I start talking about something else, then I forget what I'm using. So it might be easier for me to just list them down below. I was going to use something um, that I haven't used in a while today, and I haven't done purple in a long time either. I keep going back and forth about what I want to put on my eyeballs, because lately I've been looking at all of my things. We, I, my husband and I went into my son's room the other day and really cleaned it and, like, purged so much stuff. Like, he had old clothes, you know, stained up stuff. We got rid of all that, and then we went through his toys, which he didn't have a lot of toys to begin with, but some of them... They just needed to go. So after we cleaned yesterday, I felt like coming in my room and like going through all my stuff and just getting rid of things that I haven't used in a long time. And I was looking at all of my makeup palettes and I'm just like, gosh, I haven't used like 75% of these. I can't even remember the last time I used some of these palettes. So like I, I'm just looking at everything, thinking to myself, what should I use? What, what can I? It's like how much, how much eyeshadow can I pile on my, my face? I mean, what's funny is I wanted my friend Sarah bought one of the uh, Kat Von D eyeshadows. It was the, oh, what was it called? It was the orange one. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, I was like, oh, I really liked it. I really liked that. I want it. And then I was going through my stuff, and in one of my sleek palettes, I found an orange color that is so close. And I was just like, I, I don't even know what I have. And that's bad. You know, like for me, I start to get anxiety because I just look at all this stuff, and I think to myself, I don't even know where to begin. Like, I don't even... So, I don't know, I just, like I said, I go through these, mo these moods where I just want to get rid of stuff, and then... You know, then I'll go back to, I uh, hopefully I won't get back into that sort of obsessive behavior, but it's so easy to start feeling that way, especially if you have, you know, people that you follow on Instagram or people that you're subscribed to on YouTube and every week they're, they're getting, you know, five or six new palettes or they're, they're out getting all the new stuff and you start thinking to yourself, holy cow, I need that, I need that, when in reality you actually don't need it you've probably already got something that's the same or I don't know it's just really very super easy to get caught up in what people are buying and what they're using and I don't know it's just it it can be too, look at how awesome <laughs> they just stuck right to the top of my Shea Moisture uh, tin but anyway it's just very easy to get caught up in what everyone else is doing. And then before you know it, you have way more than you could ever need. So I'm kind of to the point now where I'm being a little bit more picky about what I buy. And <clears throat> if I think that I already have, okay, this is a lie. I was just about to tell a really big lie. I was just going to say, if I think I already have a color that's similar, I won't buy it. But you all know that that's a load of crap, right? But if it's a brand new, if it's a brand I've never tried, which is why lately I've really been getting into indie brands um, and kind of steering away from, you know, like MAC or uh, Chanel, whatever, you know, like department store brands. I'm really getting into like independent brands because... It's something new, and they're really excited about their product, and they give coupon codes, and they put in, like, little personalized notes, or, you know, if you mention that you bought their product on Instagram, they'll thank you. Like, they're just, they're more personable, you know? It's kind of like 
a mom and pop store where you go in and people are just friendly and they're happy to see you. I'm just getting more into like those independent brands. I will say that these melt eyeshadows are pretty incredible. There's another brand that I want to try and have been wanting to try for a while and it's only because the eyeshadow palettes are shaped like little coffins. Uh, but it's from a company, I believe it's called Lunatic Labs, and there was one palette that I really wanted. What's funny is they had one that was, I can't remember the exact name, but it had something to do with zombies. But I didn't particularly like the colors in it, and I was like, why does the one that I like have to be the colors that I probably would never use? I think I'm just going to kind of keep it simple today. Yeah, right. Do you guys know when I put eyeshadow on, I layer, you guys don't usually see this, but I will go back and add like five or six layers. I just layer it and then I blend <clears throat> and then I go back in and layer and then blend some more. You know, I work Sunday night from 11 at night until seven o'clock in the morning and I feel like I'm not caught up with sleep. I don't know that you ever really can catch up on sleep, but I don't feel I don't feel normal like I should. Like, like I actually when I got up this morning and I took my son to school, I came home and I ate breakfast and then I did end up falling back to sleep on my bed. I was watching the Hulk. I'm back on the Hulk again. And then I fell asleep and I woke up and it was 10.50. Actually, no, that's a lie. It was 10, it's like a little after 10.30. And I was just like, holy crap. But I can't get going. Like, I just can't get myself going. And I've got so, oops, I got so much stuff to do. But I'm just sitting here and I'm on my phone looking at Instagram. And I keep telling myself, stop, stop, stop. But it's not working because I was just sitting there on Instagram like an idiot. I got these eyeshadows from a company called Luxie. Oh, I should use this one. No, I'm not going to use that one. They're really nice. They're, um, I don't know, they're called the Auroras. I think they're kind of like that foil eyeshadow. I don't know, I could be wrong. Oops. Oh, I thought this would look nice. I don't think so. Eh, I'll do it anyway. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to use this one. It's called Copper Popper. It's so very nice. I'm excited about the colors that I have coming from Makeup Geek. One of them was sold out. It was called Curfew. That one was sold out for a long time. And then they finally got it back in stock. And then I wanted another color called Burlesque, so when I went in to order, I, I ordered Roulette, which is a new color, Burlesque, and Curfew. Well then when I went in to put my order in, um, Burlesque was sold out. It's funny because I can tell like when, when a YouTuber or somebody on Instagram uses one of her eyeshadows because they sell out. I think that's what happened with Cherry Cola. I don't know about this. I don't like it. Ooh, let's see what this one would look like. This is going to be a mess right here. I'm going to put it on my hand first to see how this is going to look. Ooh, that's pretty. We'll do that one. This ought to be interesting, right? Trying to get that off. What I think I'll do is just go over this. Good gravy, look at that. This is an old loose eyeshadow that I have from a company called Mica Beauty. <clears throat> look at how pretty that is. Is my camera blurry or is it just my eyes? Gosh, these are so messy. If you guys could see like all the little glitter flying in the air right now. I just used this. This is an old one that I have too. It's called Nude Diamonds from LA Splash. Do you guys remember when Ulta used to sell LA Splash? 
I think I got that one when they were like selling out of their collection. I don't know if I like that as an inner corner highlight though. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't like doing so much like shimmer. Is my camera blurry? There we go. I don't think that these colors could be any prettier. Like this one. It is so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I have a feeling I'm about to take this um, foundation off and redo it because there's so much that fell down on my face. Should I go all the way over? It just really closes my eyeballs up. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to tap a little bit of that. Maybe use the tip of this. Did I, guys, did I ever tell you guys the name of my cat? His name is Gato. Whenever I say that, he like purrs and he kind of responds to me. Gato! <laughs> I wish you guys could hear him. This eye is more sunken into my head than this one. I can always tell like when I have to go right into this area right here. It's deeper into my my head than the other side. Anybody else have that problem? I think I'm going to put on my favorite brown eyeliner which is Costa Riche from MAC. I don't think I'm going to put any eye, um, like eyeliner on or wing my liner. I kind of like it to look a little more like, I don't know, soft and smoky. Plus if I put wing liner on, I'm going to end up messing up that outer corner and I don't want to do that. I wish that CoverGirl still sold these eyelash curler, sold this eyelash curler style because it's the only one I've ever used that actually fits my eye perfectly. They don't carry it anymore. I really need to get a new concealer. I need NW15 right now because this one is a little too dark for me. I'm using NW20 and <clears throat> I've lost a lot of, not that I had a lot of color before, I've always been pretty pale, but I don't know, since we moved down here, my, my skin has lightened up and I am using, I always use SPF, but I don't know why. Um, my skin got lighter, it's probably because I didn't really spend a whole heck of a lot of time outside. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter color in this Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going to go underneath here and add a little bit to lighten it up. I just sprayed my face with a little bit of Fix Plus because I haven't even powdered yet and my face is just looking like kind of dry. I'm just putting a little bit of this contour on because I'm not going to do blush. So I'm just using it as my as my blush. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but well, I haven't really been making videos, but lately now when I put this on, I kind of just go right up onto my cheekbone. I don't go underneath like I was before because I felt like <clears throat> doing that wasn't doing any favors for my face already because it's kind of angular and I feel like that was kind of making me look a little bit more sort of like sunken in so I've been going like right onto my actual cheekbone I wish I could make it to Sonic before four o'clock I'm gonna as soon as my hun my son gets home from school I think I'm gonna like snatch him up and we're gonna go down to uh, Sonic because happy hour is two to four and I want a cherry limeade I've been doing really good though, like with watching what I'm eating. Once in a while, I'll do something like, you know, I'll go to Sonic and get that. But um, honestly, since we moved down here, I've put on probably five or six pounds, and I've been trying to get back down to what I was before we moved down here. So my son gave me his Garmin, it's like a Fitbit. And so I've been tracking my steps and all that good stuff. So. I'm not like actually physically working out. We finally did renew our membership to the YMCA, so I just need to get my ass in gear and get there. But um, I don't know. I've been 
I've been kind of lazy. I just need to do it. I'm the kind of person that once I do it once, I like I'm good. It's just actually getting there to do it. I'm gonna use this. It's from Wet and Wild. I just whoops, I just got it. It's the Illuminating Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. Whoopsie. I got this because I thought it would be good like to use for inner corner highlight, but then also um, I thought it would be nice too for, actually no, I should do a little bit of, I wasn't going to powder my face, it's so hard for me not to powder my face, but I'm going to use a fluffier brush and do just a little bit of powder. I'm just going to like swipe right across this. See that? I used to hate highlight. See that? Because I didn't like that it, um, I didn't like that it brought attention to my wrinkles. But I don't care anymore. Whatever. I have wrinkles. I just gotta learn how to deal with it, right? Because everybody's gonna get them. And I decided, I don't know if you guys remember, I'm going to use a little bit of my NARS Laguna. Look how sad. I need another one, but I can't get it right now. Do you guys remember? Some of you will remember when I first started, I was so against highlighting because I didn't want to bring attention to my wrinkles. But it's like now, I don't give a crap. And also, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I was kind of toying around with the idea of getting Botox. And I decided, no, I'm not going to do it. Not right now anyway. Who knows how I'm gonna feel in 10 years, but right now, I don't care. I'm good with it. I'm good with the fact that I got, I now I have one, two, I got three lines here. Whatever. I'm dealing with it. Everybody ages, so, right? It's a natural part of life. Look who's got lashes on. Don't ask me why I put them on, but. I never wear them, but I think that it adds, right? I just don't, I couldn't imagine wearing them every day. They bother my eyes so much. And then, I don't really know if I like my lip, but uh, this is kind of sexy and uh, a lip liner called In Control. Is that what it's called? Yeah, In Control from MAC. My dog always wants outside, always. And he goes out there, he pushes some grass around with his back paws, and then he barks at the door for me to let him in. Half the time he doesn't even go out there and do any business. So, alright, that's it. I don't know if this video was, I don't know, probably one of the most boring that I've done. So, but whatever, I just, I was in the mood to do something, and today's kind of like my lazy day. Because I, I actually, I mean, like I said earlier, I do have a lot of stuff to do, but stuff to do in the house. The rest of the week I have things that I have to do outside of the house. So, I don't know, I just kind of felt like sitting around and doing nothing. Anyway, I'll list everything that I use down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, um, and have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye!